experience film around 1930 in England. Might you haven't seen this before? The sisters are talking in the balcony one morning when Amelia suddenly entered the scene in a heavy breath. And whither are you from, Amelia? Tis so early in the morning, and you were gone already. My sister, as I walk around the corner, not a mile from here, looked to and fro, a horse riding mad as what I saw. Oh, dear sister. What's his name? I forgot to know yet. His eyes, his flickering eyes is telling me. Love of my life, at last we met. Oh, I have never spent such a pleasant, terrific morning in my life. What are you talking about, Amelia? Have you gone mad already? Yes. I recall that this madam sir lady is mad, mad in love. <laughs> A damsel in distress, my dears, the right for geology. I'm afraid not, my dear sisters. I can't be mistaken. He has looked at mine eyes, that lovely harsh riding guy. My precious heart is what he had dropped, and I knew from that moment onwards my sister is in love! Tell us some more, Amelia. How does he look? Where did he go forth? Is it to the south or to the north? I reckon you are mistaken, my dear Amelia. You have to have just met and have not had any conversation. Yet you think it is love? Poor lady, how could you use a profound word in such a shallow affection? My dear Amelia, I am afraid that the guy they talking to is already bequeathed to another lady. How could your mad for speak such a thing, you know? Amalia, your poor sister doesn't speak a lie. I only talk based on my experiences. There was once a guy whom I truly love. He showered my gifts and I gave him the lock in my hair in exchange. <laughs> but what had he done? He married the more fortunate woman. Oh, indeed. But not all men are like that. You could mean and my love. We've been together for years already and he's utterly in love with me. The length of time, though shared, gives thee not an assurance that he will be faithful to you forever. I dare say, though, we also find yourself in ridicule when it happens to you, my dear. The love thou art feeling right now is hurting. Thy own heart will burn thee into the deepest sea once you set it free. Always talk like that, Leonor. Perhaps you want us to become an old lady as thee. Am I right? Please ask some good manners, Maria. Watch thy mouth. Pardon, Charlotte, for such an act of imprudence. I cannot decipher, however. Is it wrong for Amela to show how she is wealthy and affectionate? The art are fully aware of what the people will say, that there is no property in voluntarily showing your affection to a young gentleman, till after he spoke to you about it first. Thou art too young for this to know, so don't let thy blind affection fool thee. There's no need to argue, my sisters. I can fully pat on thy opinions and I thought all of them are significant. Perhaps you know only wants us to balance our emotions with rationality. 
They sister won't make such act of impudence anymore. Oh dear, my heart is in pain. Hope it will soon be fine. Perhaps I will only follow time to the greatest dream of mine, where there is no society which will hinder us from being happy. All right, my sister is dreaming again. Good morning, my dear friends. Please be seated for a while. I am gratified because you came here to witness the union of two hearts owned by our dear couple, Mark and Kyla. There may be lots of happy moments in our lives, but meeting the person who makes us feel complete and makes our world a beautiful and magical place is indeed a different kind of happiness. Who would imagine that the person who always annoys you is also the person who loves you? For the past 10 years, the couple has been my compeers and what I'm glad to share with you is that Mark and Mikaela is a perfect match. They work together even though they are apart. What I wish for them is that their lives forever as a team is one full of contentment and full of memories that they wish would never end and that they continue to cherish one another and make themselves happier every day. So without further ado, let us now stand and begin our celebration. But before anything else, may I know someone who would want to object for any reason? Please do speak now. Stop everyone! I have a message for the bride. If I were you or if you was me, I won't let my life to stick with that philanderer. Fighting with him was like trying to solve a crossword and realizing there is no right answer. I'm the wife of him and I know his mores. We're not yet annulled. Please stop this crazy beautiful wedding. Who is she, Mark? Wait, is he my husband? Ramon, is that you? Oh wait, I think I made a mistake. Please resume the wedding. But remember, marriage is really tough because you have to deal with feelings and lawyers. Goodbye. Alright, let us now proceed to the exchanging of vows. Dearly beloved and honored guests, we're gathered together to join Mark and Michaela in the union of marriage. The groom and the bride have each prepared their vows that they will say genuinely to each other now. I, Mark Anthony, may do take you as my partner in life from this moment forward. A rainbow occurs naturally when the earth is in perfect harmony. A precise combination and balance between sunshine and rain that creates a prism of colors perfectly painted in a half circle across the sky for all to enjoy. <clears throat> they say love is like a magic and I couldn't more. I couldn't agree more when I first met you. You seem to appear out of nowhere. My focus is keep in you consistently trying to solve the puzzle of whom you is and where you were from. Now, as we wed, I am looking forward to unlocking the mysteries of the world with you by my side. I promise to be your petitioner, companion, and friend, your ally in conflict, your greatest fan, and your toughest adversary your comrade in adventure, your accomplice in mischief. This is my sacred vow to you, my equal, my equal in all things. I love you. I, 
Mikaela, Nidu, take you as my partner in life from this moment forward. I vow to love you until I can't love you no more. I remember our first date. You were really a bum, and it struck me right away. But you know what amazes me even more? You became like a compass that put me in a direction when I was almost lost in the wilderness. Ere long, you still are, and I wouldn't like not to do so. So, when you offered me Skosai, I didn't think twice and gave you an answer for free. Now that we are facing each other in front of our father, I want you and all the witnesses here to know how over the sun, moon, and stars I am to have a lemon like you as a lifetime precious gift. I personally don't like not promises, but I will make sure to be your rock in the turbulent time want to arrange the constellations to brighten your darkness and be your guest in every celebration. I vow to remember that soup is a sight, not a meal. I never want nothing more than to be your lifeline that will keep you breathing until the end of our distant And by the power vested in me, it's my honor and delight to declare you, Mark and Mikaela, married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. Times you anomaly, and I choose you in a hundred lifetimes. I choose you in a hundred worlds. I'd find you. I'd say I do for the rest of my life. Welcome to the world of heroes! I am Nilet, your host for the day. Is there any way for us to know who wears the best dress in Mobile Legends? To know them well, let us call our first candidate, Mia! I am the moonlight that breaks through the darkness. Hi, I'm Mia. I am from South Korea. Know thyself is what I really believe. Love outshines the rolling ground. Mabuha. My name is Ardet. I love to travel with my beloved building. Howdy folks, I'm Layla and I used to love the Bible verse, Thou shall not steal. Ni hao, I am Kagura. People used to tell me I'm scurvy, but I am the strongest heather. Now we have known them for some time, perchance they could be able to present the uniqueness of their dresses. Heroes, I have a question for you. What do your dresses symbolize? My dress symbolizes my country, United States of America. The touch of gold, silver, and stones is what I really love about my dress. The color betwixt the lines of my dress emphasizes the richness of our culture and nationality. That is why I know that I'm the one who wore the best dress in this entire game. Thou art a fantastic answer! How about you, Kagura? My dress symbolizes Sushong, which means respect in Mandarin. I know my dress is the most awesome dress in the game because as I wear this dress, I have with me the full support and respect of my whole country, the China. I am impressed with how your dress carries so much respect from all your countrymen. What about the dress of Odette? Pagmamahal, pag-ibi, or any form of love is what my dress symbolizes. Love that brings peace to our country 
if thou canst love one another, thou shalt be known for peace. And all I want for this battle is to end and make unity. And for this reason, I know I deserve the title of the best dress. I am speechless, Miss Odette. I have felt the love of every Filipino senior answer. The last hero is Mia. Annyeong everyone, I think I have worn the best dress. As you can see, my dress is in oceanic blue that symbolizes royalties and calmness. Just amazing answers from our four lovely heroes. Based on their answers and the presentation of their dresses, I think we have seen who really stands out.